Pop Keeney on a Friday night is a magical place to watch a football game. To be out there, um, it's just electric. You feel it in your bones. Um, you know, your teammates on the sidelines cheering, the fans on the sidelines cheering. Um, I, can't, I can't describe a better feeling. Quarterback Jacob Sermon has enjoyed quite a ride at Bothell. You know, from the freshman team all the way to the varsity level, you know, everyone, everyone has each other's backs. Everyone, you know, is trying to be accountable for each other. And that, that just kind of makes for a really great vibe and a really great culture. It's a culture head coach Tom Boehner started creating at Bothell nearly 20 years ago. We're all about family first. And the teams that I've coached over the years, the best ones are the ones that are the closest. Sermon is close to many at Bothell, especially freshman quarterback Andrew, sixth grade QB Danny, and future star Sam. I look up to him and I want to be like him. Great role model. Andrew, Danny, and Sam are Jacob's younger brothers. Their sister Ellie is in the 11th grade and plays volleyball, but pretty much everyone else in the family plays football. Just kind of runs in our blood. Football is a a big part of the family. We think that uh, it's one way to grow a young boy into a man. David Sermon played for the University of Montana and won a national championship with the Grizzlies in 1995. It teaches you all you need to know to be successful in life, how to create better in others, how to sacrifice, how to fight through adversity. David's dad and three brothers also played college football. His wife Robin's brothers played too, and her father. So Jacob Sermon has a dad, two grandfathers, and five uncles that all played college ball. And next year, Jacob will keep the tradition going. We'll have family reunions and, you know, we'll sit around. Instead of talking about fishing or, you know, whatever else we might talk, yeah. politics, we're talking football. And so ever since a young kid, I'm going around the terminology. I've just been listening and hearing, and, uh, and it's become a passion of mine. He understands the game very well. He understands defenses probably better than any quarterback I've ever coached. At the end of the day, the ball gets, is in my hands at the beginning of every snap. And so being able to um, you know, know the defense inside and out, know my offense, and, and get the ball to my playmakers has been it's fun for me. Jacob's pedigree in football has helped develop his understanding of the game, but his power and size are what make him one of the top QBs in the country. He's 6'4", and he's 230. I mean, he's a man, and that's, that's great. Most of us don't ever grow up to be that big. Well, Jacob was blessed early with a lot of athleticism and a, and a frame that looks like a quarterback. Uh, but I think what will set him apart over time is this maturity, and we're seeing it here in this, in this last year, the senior year. He's passed for over 5,000 yards and 43 touchdowns, but his stats are secondary. He's a four-star recruit, but more importantly, Jacob is a blue-chip brother. During practice, he will, if I'm throwing, I make a mistake, I throw a bad ball, he will, he'll come over and he'll coach me up real quick and he'll help me understand a concept or a play or my throwing motion. That's probably one of the biggest reasons I committed to University of Washington so I could be close to home and, and still be a part of their lives. Um, I want to be able to come back for a Friday night and watch them at Popkini as they go ahead and play their, their high school careers out and, um, and just be a part of their life. Oh, he's a great older brother. In Bothell, Chris Egan, King 5 Sports. I, I think Sam's got the best sound. I think Sam's, Sam's got the best sound. Sam's a really, he's a good athlete. <laughs> I think